references to Christ, or there is a speech which speaks to me, friends, accept it with everyone that I've seen him down as the first fruit of all the priests. Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, are present everywhere and filling all things of blessings and source of life, come, abide in us, cleanse the whole state, and save all souls, O good one. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Lord, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, of ages. Amen. All holy to be have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, look down on us and hear our infirmities for the glory of your name. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Brought me into this 
lying as into an enchanted paradise. We have seen the sky, like a deep blue, cooperating with birds and azure heights. We have listened to the soothing murmur of the forest and the sweet sound of music of the waters. We have tested fragrant fruit of fine flavor and sweet scented honey. How pleasant is our stay with you on earth. It is our joy to be your guest. Glory to you for the feast day of life. Glory to you for the perfume of leaves and roses. Glory to you for each different taste of berry and fruit. Glory to you for the sparkling silver of earthly morning dew. Glory to you for the for each smiling, peaceful awakening. Glory to you for eternal life in us, a messenger of heaven. Glory to you, O God, from age to age. Glory. Glory to you, O God, from age to age. Glory to you, O God, from age to age. 
is the darkness of the whirlwind, the terror pulling of the storm, but in their souls reign quiet and light. Christ is there when the heart sings, Alleluia. I see your heaven growing with stars, how rich you are, how much light is yours. Eternity watches me, watches me by the rays of the distant stars. I am small, insignificant, but the Lord is with me. His loving hand protects me wherever I go. Glory to you for the trouble you take for me at all times. Glory for the people your providence gave me to meet. Glory to you for the love of my dear ones, the faithfulness of friends. Glory to you for the gentleness of the animals which serve me. Glory to you for the light-filled moments of life. Glory to you for the radiant joy in my heart. Glory to you for the joy of living, moving, and seeing. Glory to you, O God, from age to age. Glory. So 
affliction and pain. You send unexpected help. You come for you come for you are love bringing trial and salvation. And do you receive the hand? Hallelujah. When in childhood I called upon you consciously for the first time, you heard my prayer, and Satan peace came down upon my soul. Then I understood that you are good. Blessed are those who turn to you. Incessantly I started to call upon you, and now I call upon your name. Glory to you, satisfying my desire to do good things. Glory to you, watching over me day and night. Glory to you, calming tribulations and bereavement with a feeling of my flow of time, with a healing flow of time. Glory to you, no loss is irreparable when you are there. To all you, to all you give eternal life. Glory to you, making it more of all that is lofty and good, promising to welcome the dead. Glory to you, O God, from age to age. No.
see the rising sun rejoicing you, and I hear the chorus of birds praise the hymn of glory. I hear the chorus mysteriously rustling in your honor. The wind sings to you. The water mark around. Sessions of stars proclaim you are risen, move in harmony forever in the depths of infinite peace. What is my full worship? Well, nature obeys you. I do not. Yet why live or see your love? I want to thank you and pray to you and call upon your name. Glory to you who has shown us the light. Glory to you who loved us with a deep, unfathomable, and designed love. Glory to you who blesses us with the light of the host of angels and saints. Glory to you, Father, most holy, revealing to us who was the new kingdom in all your commandments. Glory to you, Holy Spirit, life giving Son of the world to come. Glory to you for all things divine and most merciful Trinity. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you, O God, from In the verses that we are going to talk about tonight, we'll see the Lord telling his apostles ten times in seven verses, he's telling them ten times to abide in him. Last time we saw the Lord introducing the, to, to his apostles this image of the vine. 
of the grapevine. I am the vine, you are the branches. Abide in me. He had already talked to his apostles about the abiding of the Father in him and him in the Father and in the Holy Spirit. Now he's taking this idea of abiding into each other from the Trinity to humanity. And he is giving this analogy of the grapevine and the branches to his apostles. Why now? Because the apostles were very troubled about the news that the Lord was giving to them. About the news that he's going away. And as we could see, the apostles were troubled. The Greek word, as we could see, was were going back and forth within them. That's how we are when we are faced with some bad news. And we don't know what to do. And one of the first instincts is to fix the problem ourselves. I'm going to fix this. The best way to address it is to stay connected with the source of life. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, is cast out as a branch and is withered, and they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my father, just as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. If you want to have the fullness of joy, abide in me. The Lord knew very well why he used these words ten times in seven verses. Abide, abide, abide. Because he knew that the devil would come after his disciples to separate them from him. The mighty Peter is going to deny him three times with an oath. I don't know the man. The rest of the apostles will be scattered, separated from him because they were afraid. It was only St. John the Evangelist who knew to abide close to the Lord and to be by the cross. Even John himself will see him being in that room with the locked doors with the other apostles not knowing what to make of this anymore. And then running to the tomb with Peter to see the empty tomb of the Lord. It is the same in our life. The diabolos, the one who tries to separate and destroy, to pull apart, is trying constantly, constantly to get us worried, to get us troubled, and to take us away from the vine. To take us away from the source of life. When we feel that that is happening to us, 
Let us remember that that is a time when we are called even more to stay connected, to cling to God, as we say in the Holy Liturgy. In the Holy Liturgy of St. Days the Great, we have this beautiful energy to cling to God, to stay connected with the vine. As St. James says in his, in his letter, draw near to God, and the devil will flee from you. If we focus on the problem, if we focus on the wind and the waves, like Peter, will go down with the wind and the waves. If we stay focused on Christ, God will give us the strength to walk on water. I know it's not easy, but this is how it works. Abide by abiding in Christ, by abiding in the source of life. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much for being here this evening in person or via live stream. And now I'm going to stop the live stream and start our discussion.